Okay, my name is Clean the Drunk, and you're watching SL for Excel TV. That is SL for Excel, SL for Sierra Leone, Excel for Economical Xylophone Emancipation Celebration and Excel Limited Television. Keep watching. Peace. <laughs> Is it hard to become a clean stand-up comedian? A clean stand-up comedian is that's one of the hardest things you can actually do because to be a clean stand-up comedian, you have to bath in the morning, bath in the afternoon, and take a shower at night. You have to keep showering, especially in Nigeria where the weather is hot. After you take your shower, in fact, sometimes when you come out, it will start you start sweating again immediately because the heat in nigeria is too much so being very clean is not very easy and there's dust in the air but if you are talking about clean in what you're saying okay you would have actually told me that because to be a clean stand-up comedian to say things, to do the comedy without saying things vulgar or saying things that is ibnamaminos that's a big word. I don't know the meaning. But if you have to be a comedian to do all those things without saying things that are very unclean, it's not easy at all. Because very, un very unclean things are very funny. But clean to say clean things and make it funny is not easy. Just imagine me holding this thing now. So many things will come to your mind. When did you decide to become a stand-up comedian? Since I was born. Yeah, well, since I was in my mother's womb. Since my mother will not, is not here to say my son became a comedian when he was in my womb. Let me say on behalf of my mother. And since I was in my mother's womb, I used to tickle her inside her womb. And she'll be laughing in real life. So, that's the time. Actually, I don't know. I've always wanted to be a stand-up comedian right from when I was small. I love making people happy. I love making people laugh. And I love it when they pay me to make them laugh. So I, I think I was, I was born into the business of getting paid. What are the struggles of being a stand-up comedian? Struggles. There are many of them. Struggles. It, it, when we that I don't know most of the people now, their struggle their struggle is not as bad as when we started. When we started, we did not have people to look up to. We did not have anyone that will be like I want to be like this person. We did not have anybody that who had already gone into it and come out to be very rich. So we are just doing it for passion. We are just doing it. Unlike now, people have seen that. There's money in comedy. So many people are even living their bank work. Some people are even living their job, whichever job they have to go into comedy because they feel there's money in it. When we started, the hurdle was too much because it was not easy because we did not have that freedom. We were just going through everything ourselves from our own angle. And it was not pain then until it now started pain then you know and then there was no acceptance for comedy then you come to someone's occasion and say i'm a comedian they ask you come again my friend come and go so instead of comedy this come and go that we were doing you get out of here what's your problem others are doing something with their life and you're there messing around but see today this is where we are today do comedians ever tell true stories? If you don't tell true story, you must tell. If you don't tell, that means you're not really a comedian. You must tell true story. The only thing is that you add correct time and other spices to make it sound as if it's not true story. But most times you must tell true story. Very true story. And in fact, sometimes true stories are different. There's one idiot. I mean, Elliot, am I lying? He'll confess! If I have to tell you the first time I was arrested by police, believe me, hmm, it was not easy. But is this, not the, this is not where we're meant to talk about that. I don't even want to go through that emotional problem again. Now, please, just ask next question. 
what is the difference between a stand-up comedian and a comedian? There are different types of comedians. There are TV comedians, there are movie comedians, there are sitcom comedians, there are stand-up comedians, there are comedy acts. All of them are different typographical errors. The only thing is that all of them are meant to make you laugh. Some do it on TV, some do it in movies. Some do it, when I say TV, that is TV shows, all those uh, sitcoms and everything. Some do it in movies, some do it in stand-up, standing and talking about something. Some do it as comedy acts, acting as if they are something that they are not, while they are telling you the thing that you want to hear, but they are not really what you think they are, but that is what they want you to think. That is what you... What am I even explaining now? What did I just say? I succeeded in confusing myself. What other question? What makes a great stand-up comedian? What makes a great stand-up comedian? Sincerity, humility, not being a thief, not thiefing people's jokes, not using people's materials, being sincere is still part of sincerity. You be close to your God, be hardworking, use your brain. No, wait. Use your brain and your heart. Or your... Use something up here and the other one in the, that beat. So, use it. What is the best response you have witnessed after being hacked by an audience in a comedy show? Whenever they take my mind off it, even me, sometimes I take my own mind off the thing. It's part of my own. My own. I, I like it when my mind can wander around. Because finally I still come back to that thing that we're talking about. Because no matter what, I must finish everything, everything I start on stage. So if they take my mind off, I will follow them, finish with them, come back, and finish up where I started. Which of your shows that brought you to the limelight? The show that brought me to limelight is Night of a Thousand Love that we did in Port Harcourt with Topper Williams. Because one, one of my, in fact, my God, one of my greatest godfather in comedy, Yebo Koko, was the one that told Upper Williams, try this guy, try him. Upper Williams was like, I've not seen him before. I can't try the people I've never worked with before. He said, try him. Just trust me. I'm willing to stake my own part of the business. Try him. He now tried me. He gave me five minutes. Okay. Have you watched Superman? <laughs> no, sir. Good. Go and buy the film. Watch it now. Then you know who to call in such a place. Because Nigerian police force people are men like you and me. Sir, the job of the police is to protect and to serve. And who is meant to protect and serve the police people? I'm asking you, young man, speak up before I arrest you through this phone. Sir, I can text you a handcuff. Sir, but this is... I performed for almost 40 minutes. When I came back, from there, it was from one night of a thousand laughs to another. And that, that time, night of a thousand laughs was the biggest show you can ever go to as a stand-up comedian. The biggest. And that was how it started. Which advice would you give to upcoming comedians? Like I said before, be original. Be as original as possible. If you don't have stand-up comedy in you, try other things. Some people would now want to go and force it. And then all they'll do is sit down, watch other people do comedy, record whatever they said, then start using it on stage. No. Be original. Get your own material. Get your own style. Do this thing and become... It is... The sky is too big. There are so many ideas. You must not copy another person. You know, then get your ideas, get everything, move with it. Be consistent. Don't ever give up. And at the end of the day, you will get to your destination, whether by road, by air, by water, or by force. What is it that you would like to change in the comedy industry today? I have to find out everything that we have in the comedy industry first of all before we change anything because me, who am I? Who am I to change something? What if I decide I would want to change something and somebody else decides to change me? You see? 
You get the point now. That's one of my friends. That's what he normally says. You get the point now. Prince White, thunder will fire you. Mm -hmm. What special message do you have for Sierra Leoneans out there? What I have for Sierra Leone is this. I want to come to Sierra Leone and live. Uh, by the time I come to Sierra Leone, you will not leave me alone. Did that, did that make sense? Can you imagine? I didn't even know that was going to make sense. But honestly, I want to come to Sierra Leone. I've been there before, but I want to come again and again and again. I want to come around and let us have fun. Let us enjoy ourselves. I will give you people some stories, some tips, especially for men. Men. You know what I mean? Men. Don't worry. Very soon, we'll be there. Peace. Like, I need to peace. Where can, where can I peace here? Please, okay. Please, where can we find you on social media? On social media, you can find me in your phone. Okay, sorry. Instagram at cleans the drunk. That is this one. I can get the spelling. K l i n t d a d r u n k. Yes, cleans the drunk. I'm with that name on Instagram, on Snapchat. On Twitter, I'm, I am uh, my Twitter handle is at I am Clint the Drunk TV. Is it? I can't even remember. Is it I am Clint the Drunk? Sorry, or Clint the Drunk TV. Those are the two. Then um, on Facebook, Clint the Drunk Comedian. On what's what what which one again? On LinkedIn, it's Clint That Drunk. On YouTube, it is Clint That Drunk. On, on, on top of the roof, it's Clint That Drunk. On, on, hey, on that other one that they're using, find men around you. Find men around you. Hey, it's clean that drunk. Even to find women around you, it's still clean that drunk. Even when you want to find yourself around you, clean that drunk. All of them at clean that drunk. Except for Facebook, clean that drunk comedian. And I am clean that drunk or clean that drunk TV on Twitter. Thank you too. As I go to peace very soon. Are you ready? Mm.